In Ukraine, unrelenting and indiscriminate violence on display caused by Russian forces. Overnight, air raid sirens ringing out all over Ukraine. This coming after Russia pledged to drastically scale back military operations in parts of Ukraine, including the capital. The Pentagon is confirming it's seeing a small number of Russian troops moving away from Kiev, but says they're not withdrawing. The, their intention is to reposition forces and bolster their efforts elsewhere. A U.S. official tells ABC news that Putin is being misinformed by his advisors on the war in Ukraine and on the performance of his military because his advisors are too afraid to tell him the truth. Verizon telling us that more than 10,000 of their customers have been targeted in a so-called phishing scam. In this sneaky caper, Verizon customers are receiving a text message which appears to be from their own phone number, suggesting that Verizon will give them a gift as a reward for paying their phone bill. If that sounds like it's too good to be true, it is. If you click on the attachment, authorities fear it may be a gateway to hack your phone. Some customers have been steered to what appears to be a Russian website. FBI and Homeland Security officials have been warning for weeks that the Kremlin could launch cyber attacks in retaliation for the U.S. support of Ukraine. It is not just happening to Verizon. When we contacted their competitor, T-Mobile, the company told us, quote, scams like these are an industry-wide problem. All the companies we spoke to gave that age-old warning. Do not open odd, unexpected attachments when you're not certain where they're coming from. The Masters Tournament is the scene of some of Tiger Woods' greatest victories. The five-time champion sparking a frenzy after he was spotted teeing up in Augusta, Georgia just a week before the tournament begins. The PGA Tour's official Twitter account saying Tiger Woods is practicing today at Augusta National. It would be a remarkable return just over a year after the car crash that nearly took his life, leaving Woods hospitalized for weeks. I'm lucky to be alive. This past February, he opened up about his painful recovery. And I still have a long way to go, and each, each and every day is a fight. And... I welcome that fight. You get up in the morning and, you know, let's go a few more rounds. The parents of Trevor Reed, a former U.S. Marine being held in Russia since 2019, are demonstrating outside the White House today to try and get an in-person meeting with President Biden. Trevor's mother, Paula Reed, says with her son reportedly sick with TB, time is running out. President Biden promised to meet with Trevor Reed's family some weeks ago, but Reed's family say the White House has not attempted to reach out. California's first in the nation reparations task force held a historic vote this evening to decide who should be eligible for potential compensation. The community of eligibility will be based on lineage determined by an individual being an African-American descendant of a chattel enslaved person living in the United States prior to the end of the 19th century. The lineage approach was viewed by task force members as the best way to avoid a potential legal challenge, but those that weighed in via public comment were split. Jim Crow, redlining, mass incarceration, voter suppression. The apology offered for enslavement lineage suggests no accountability for these other scourges of black life in America. A fugitive flamingo named Pink Floyd has been spotted on the Texas coast 17 years after escaping captivity in Kansas. An environmental activist captured the jailbird on video earlier this month in Cox Bay, Texas. Upon closer inspection, the bird had a leg band with inmate number 492. Animal experts say that Pink Floyd flew 800 miles along with another flamingo in 2005. The companion is no longer traveling with Floyd. Might be a little awkward getting off the ground, but they can they can fly like 35 miles an hour and travel, you know, over 350 miles. Zoo officials have never made plans to recapture Pink Floyd, despite several sightings saying there is no easy way to do so without disturbing other wildlife. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.